What's going on guys, Billy here, and with every brand new drone release, there's bound to be bugs that need to be fixed. It's the annoying truth about technology in general. Whenever a product hits the market, the masses usually find the issues that need to be addressed. The thing is, with drones, there's a very small margin of error, because let's say the iPhone 11 ships and iOS 13 has a very big bug. Well, okay, I can work around that issue on my phone, but when a drone comes out, if there's a major bug in the software that causes drones to potentially fall from the sky, then that's a really big issue. Now, I've been lucky enough to get my hands on the Mavic Mini just a little bit earlier than DJI started shipping, and I've got to give a big thanks to SSE Photo and Video for making that happen. I'm going to leave some links down in the description to their website and to their Amazon page, so if you want to go ahead and pre-order your Mavic Mini, check them out. Now, the good thing about getting this drone a little bit early is the fact that I was able to find some bugs and some issues that I think need to be addressed and fixed. Now, the good thing is I can report that there are no glaring problems. Like, there's no issues where I would say, whoa, don't buy this drone yet because it's not ready. Everything from the brand new DJI Fly app all the way up to the way the drone flies is really well polished. But again, there are a few issues that I think need to be addressed. Now, I do want to fully disclose that right now, the DJI Fly app has not hit the app store. So I'm using a beta version. Also, I'm using a very early version of the Mavic Mini's firmware. So I'm gonna post uh, like right here and also down in the comments section, I'm gonna put the actual firmware version that I'm on as well as the DJI Fly app version that I'm on. Chances are they might fix this within the next couple of days so this video could become totally irrelevant but the reason I'm making this is so that if you are going to get your Mavic Mini on the very first day you're going to know what to expect and also if DJI is watching they can potentially fix these bugs. So the first issue that I've run into is by far the absolute worst out of the four total that I'm going to share with you in this video. It's something that I think immediately needs to be addressed and fixed by DJI. It hasn't happened to me all that much. I think it's happened a total of two times. But the thing is, I've probably logged about 30 flights on the Mavic Mini, so the odds really aren't that great. Now, I wasn't able to capture the bug in real time as was happening, but I was able to refer back to a flight log here. So you'll see that I begin to fly out over the Schuylkill River, increasing my distance and height slowly towards Boathouse Row, and suddenly the flight telemetry just begins to go crazy. It says, that I was dropping in height incredibly fast and look at the speed just above it. I think it said that I got up to like 90 miles an hour at one point and I can confirm that that definitely wasn't true. Out of those four data points, the only one that continued to be right was my distance. The height kept decreasing rapidly and it's not like it was displaying as a flipped value like I was actually at 200 feet and it was just displaying as negative 200 feet. I was probably only about 40 or 50 feet high shooting photos and it just kept plotting. Plummeting. The largest number that I saw was around negative 319 feet. You know, I'm laughing about this issue now and I chuckled about it during the story that I told you guys. And even in the moment when I was flying my drone and I looked down at the telemetry, I couldn't help but laugh because I knew the numbers were totally wrong. The thing is, if this isn't fixed immediately and if the issue isn't addressed, there could be some serious problems down the road. Let's say, for example, I was hovering over the river at 300 feet at what I thought was 300 feet. And let's say the app was displaying that I was at 300 feet, but my drone was in fact at 500 feet and a helicopter started coming down the water, I could have a serious issue on my hands. Even in a smaller stake situation, if I'm just trying to orbit around a building and I know that the objects in the area are roughly under 100 feet and the altitude isn't displayed properly, well then I'm at risk for crashing my drone. So look, this needs to be fixed whether or not it's a problem with the data being sent back from the drone to the remote controller, or if this is just a bug in the beta version of the DJI Fly app, this is by far the biggest issue that I've found so far. And again, as I've said, it just needs to be fixed immediately. Now, moving on, these next two issues, the next two bugs that I found, I'm gonna sort of group together because I've got one video clip that shows both of them happening, and it's really not the best video clip, but I'm gonna try to explain myself as best as possible. Now, if you guys have been around in the drone community ever since the Mavic Air, you'll remember that in February or January, when it was originally released, and when people started to fly them, it had this really horrible shaking problem where as soon as you put the drone up in really cold climates, the drone would just violently shake, but it would eventually level itself out. Now, this was eventually fixed by DJI. They addressed it. They came out the firmware update for the drone, and it was really great that they could fix it through an update, and it wasn't like a hardware issue. So that was really good. 
But the reason I bring that up is because it seems like the Mavic Mini shakes just a little bit. And in this video clip right here from my first impressions, my first flight video, I actually tried to take the drone off just before I started. And you'll notice it shakes a little bit. Now, I do have to admit that day was a little bit windy. But the way that it shook and the way that the drone was moving around, it reminded me of the Mavic Air. That was actually my first take of that video and I immediately landed the drone because I didn't want it going haywire and flying off or I really just didn't know what was happening. But once I landed it and once I kind of watched the video clip back, I thought to myself, wow, this reminds me a lot of the Mavic Air. Now, the thing about the Mavic Air when it was shaking is that it had to be really cold for it to happen. Like, I'm talking under 10 degrees. Once it warmed up, everything leveled out, and I noticed that once my drone warms up and once I'm flying for a little bit, it stops doing that shaking movement. So maybe it's got the same issue as the Mavic Air, and if it does, hopefully DJI can correct this through a firmware update. Now, speaking of when I had to land the drone, I went to go and hand catch it because it was a little bit windy, and I wanted to make sure that it didn't tip over as I was landing it. And you'll notice that the drone just keeps shooting up every single time as I try to catch it. I wasn't even able to catch it. I had to land it on the ground. Now, you might be sitting there thinking to yourself, okay, Billy, how is this a problem? How is this an issue? I guess it's not technically considered a bug, but I do think it's something that DJI needs to address and it's something that they need to tweak and fix a little bit moving forward. You see, with the Mavic 2 Pro, that's a drone that I catch almost every single time that I land it. It comes down into my hand so easy, so smoothly. The obstacle avoidance sensors recognize my hand, whether or not I put it there really quickly or whether or not it's there waiting for it. And with the Mavic Mini, as I'm trying to catch it, it just keeps bouncing up and down. So I think that they're a little bit too sensitive and it's a good thing that they work. It's a good thing your drone isn't gonna slam into the ground as you come down and land but I think that they need to tweak it just a little bit to make hand catching it easier. All right, all right, all right. Maybe that third thing was just me nitpicking, but this fourth issue, again, maybe you might not consider it a bug, but I think that the camera needs to be fixed. And when I talk about the camera, I'm talking mainly about the exposure. So over the past couple of videos, I've been doing a lot of comparisons between like the Spark and the Mavic Mini, and I've been flying the Mavic Mini and showing you guys some sample photos and some sample videos. And I think that the Mavic Mini overexposes and it blows out the highlights. In my last video where I compared the Spark and the Mavic Mini, a lot of people said they preferred the Spark images over the Mavic Mini's images, and I've got to agree with them. I'm not trying to say that the photos and the videos coming off of the Mavic Mini look horrible because they don't. They look great. I just think that the picture profile is a little bit too flat, and I don't think that the photos are ready to share right out of the camera. If you bring it into Lightroom, and if you bring it into any sort of photo editor, and if you bump the saturation a little bit, bring down the highlights, the photo will look a lot better. But think about who this drone is marketed towards. Half of the people buying this drone don't want anything to do with Lightroom. They don't want anything to do with post-processing. And chances are they're going to download the photos right from the drone onto their phone and share them through Facebook or through Instagram. They don't want to deal with having to edit. So DJI needs to get this drone's camera into a place where it's shooting images that can be shared right from the camera. Otherwise, the Spark is still going to shoot better photos. Now, you might be thinking to yourself, how are they gonna fix the camera? How are they gonna make it better? Well, if you remember, the original Mavic Pro in 2016, released in 2016, it got a firmware update in 2017 that improved the image quality. It actually made the drone shoot better photos and better videos, and it actually worked. So I've got hope. I think that DJI can definitely make this camera better, and I'm hoping it's just an issue I'm experiencing and that other people are seeing in these photos and videos because it's on an early version of the firmware and because I'm on a beta version of the Fly app. Anyway, guys, those are the four major issues I've been experiencing so far with the Mavic Mini. All the other ones have been really small. Like one that comes to mind is when I try to do an IMU calibration, it shows a Mavic 2 Pro image and it shows a Mavic Air image instead of the Mavic Mini. Also, there's a little bit of Chinese littered throughout the application, but look, those are things I can deal with. I just think that everything I mentioned in this video needs to be taken care of, especially the telemetry. That needs to be addressed immediately. Anyway, guys, let me know what you think of these issues down in the comment section below, and if you have your Mavic Mini already, because I know they're shipping a little bit early, let me know if you guys are experiencing the same issues. Anyway, guys, I'll talk to you later. Peace.